I'm Pat Mitchell and this is Follow Shelter and tonight we're going to be discussing sizing, how to properly size. Now because I trade options uh, and I don't trade options in a traditional way, I trade them a little bit differently than what most people would describe as an options trader. Uh, for the most part on this, what you can do, and we'll go over this once we start getting into the sizing protocol because that's what I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share my sizing protocol that I give my live trading members that we go through for eight weeks and we live trade. So I'm gonna share that with you guys because I think a lot of you can benefit from that. And I'll discuss how to do that if you're trading shares because I know a lot of you are still fucking around with penny stocks, which you shouldn't be, they're absolute trash. There's a much better way, trade real stocks, proper stocks like SPY, Apple, AMD, Qs, you know, uh, like those are the stocks you guys should be trading, but a lot of people think that they can't afford them. Well, you can via options. Uh, so that's what I recommend because they have a high institutional ownership and institutional traders trade them so they become a lot more predictable, so to speak. Uh, that's the best way of describing it. I don't like using the word predictable because it's not being predictive at all, but you guys get my point. So let's start going over this sizing protocol. And then at the end of the sizing protocol, I'm going to give you some thoughts and ideas of, you know, the methodology and the reason why you size like this. So let's start. We're going to go from week one. OK, this is more of an eight week schedule. Now, obviously, you're going to have to draw that out a little bit longer if you find that you have uh, an emotional, more of an emotional response to some of this sizing. And uh, this is the way I do it. So on week one, nothing, no size. You are to sit there and you are to watch the charts. You are to draw out your levels, come up with your trade plans or follow your coach's trade plans and see how it reacts with those levels. Really pay attention to the subtleties and that's getting into the swing of things, okay? And that's what I recommend. No size. Do not trade. Don't take any fucking trades. Just sit there and watch. So that's week one. Now on week two, you are to trade one contract, just one. And what you're doing and the idea behind this isn't to make any money. You're not going to make any money off of one contract, guys. You're going to make like 10, 12, maybe 20 bucks. That's not about the money. It is about executing that trade as per trade plan and as per strategy. You're to get used to executing. That's all that matters. And then you pay yourself as soon as you get that first reaction. So let's say you're, you're looking for a long into support, okay, some support level. As it comes into that level, you are to execute as it comes into that level and as soon as it bounces, just get out. Again, you're not looking for any type of fucking profit and that's where a lot of people make mistakes. You are to work on execution only. Remember, there's steps involved and where a lot of people fail, they're not necessarily thinking ahead. They're just thinking about making money and it's about getting the fundamentals down, getting things done correctly right off the hop, okay? So that's that. Now, on week three, two contracts. Now, the idea behind this, uh, and it seems like a small increase, it isn't. That is a 100% increase. So if you have an emotional attachment to one contract, right, or let's say 100 shares, or if you're trading penny stocks, maybe it's a little bit more, but whatever, let's say 100 shares, and now you bump it up to 200 shares, that's a big increase, guys. As you're waiting to get, you know, potentially get stopped out or it's pissing around at that level and you're, you're red and you're green and red and you're green, you're going to start getting emotional on that. Especially if you were emotional under one contract, now it's going to be double the stress. Do you understand? It's about going slow. When it dips into that level, you execute the trade, you pay yourself one. When it comes up that little bit more, that's when you pay yourself or you pay yourself into the first level of resistance that it would that it would hit that is a target right you need to pay yourself into targets so to speak so now week four this is when the sizing really starts to begin and we start playing with the idea of uh not just a hard and set five contracts or something like that it is a variable sizing it is three to five contracts on week four and the reason for that is it starts letting you make decisions. So let's say the risk is a little wider. That support level that we've been talking about. Let's say 
uh, on one day, it's only 30 cents. That's your risk. That's where next support is. So obviously you could probably start in with four contracts, saving one contract for it to come down into that next support, just to correct that average a little bit. And then once it bounces, obviously you pay yourself. Now let's say that lower risk level or that risk level becomes a little wider. Well, if you get stopped out, it'll be a lot less of damage. And that's what it's always about. It's about preserving your mental capital and, and really understanding that these trades don't have to work all the time, right? So we need to preserve our accounts and we need to preserve our mentality as well. And that's how we do it. We do that through sizing. We size according to risk. A lot of people just want to lay the gas pedal down all the time, guys. And that's not the way to do that. You see all these jokers on, on Twitter and everywhere else, on social media, that are constantly taking these massive losses. It's because they're only thinking about the, the upside. Me, personally, I'm always thinking about risk. Remember, we're day traders. We are managers of money and managers of risk. This is what we do. And a lot of people, that, that concept goes over their fucking heads. Okay, so now we're on to week five. And on week five, this is very market dependent, okay? Again, with risk, how the market is trading, the whole nine. We're trading five to seven contracts. The idea with this is, this is where you can start to make money, especially with options. Now, five to seven contracts, you're not gonna get rich, but you can absolutely pay your bills. And I prove this every time we go through uh, the live trading momentum, and we're actually starting next week on Tuesday. We do a live trading on Tuesday and a live trading on Friday. Uh, we do that for eight weeks, total of 16 live trading days, but I always throw in extra live trading days because I absolutely fucking love live trading with my momentum members. And this is where you can start to pay your bills. Now off of five to seven contracts, if you're trading correctly, you can easily make hundreds of dollars per trade. Now remember, how much do you make at your nine to five job? Are you making a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars a day? Probably not, the majority of you probably not. You're probably making like a couple hundred, few hundred bucks a day, a lot of you, okay? Now, some more successful people will definitely be making more money, but maybe they're a little more established and everything else, but that's fine. It is about paying those bills. And that's where you can absolutely start paying your bills with those five to seven contracts. Now on week six, this is where things, it, this is where it's designed, this sizing protocol is designed to push you. Okay, so we are working with seven to 12 contracts. The problem is when people first get into options, they don't think that that's a big position at all. It is. Per one contract is 100 shares. Okay, that's a lot. So you gotta ask yourself, if you're trading SPY or Apple or Qs, are you trading 700 to 1200 shares? Well, that's how much that is. That's a big position, guys. You can make easily a thousand bucks on a trade like that. You could make more. So you don't need a lot to make money when you trade options. So remember, this is going to be a little bit of an emotional roller coaster. And this is why we give it a gauge of seven to 12 contracts. You have to gauge your emotions, but you also have to push yourself a little bit. Don't push yourself to a super uncomfortable level because you're gonna fucking fuck it up and you're gonna fail. And you're gonna be like, uh, deer caught in the headlights if it comes down to your risk level and you're not going to be able to stop out because it's too big of a loss. So you need to keep that in mind guys. Okay. So now on week seven, again, this is where we're taking larger size. We're 12 to 16 contracts and that gives us the ability to really play with that. Now you're not using 12 to 16 contracts and running that up all the way. It's really designed so that you can really taper out on that position and you can really start locking in profits on, the, on every push, on every little resistance level on the way up. You're paying yourself into those fucking levels, guys. And that's really important. Every single peak and valley that you see on that chart, you are to pay yourself into it. It also helps you average back in a little bit. So when it comes back down to a natural level of support, you can add some of those off. Let's say you start with 12 and it pops up and you pay yourself five, okay? So now you got seven left. 
So when it pulls back into a proper support level, you can add more contracts back in. And this is how it gives you the ability. It seems like it's 12 to 16 contracts, but it's not. It's actually way more. You're probably trading 20 plus going in and out. And that's where you really start making money. On 12 to 16 contracts, you should absolutely be able to make well over $1,000 a day. Easily, easily, 100%, okay? And you're going to be uncomfortable, but this sizing protocol is designed to make you uncomfortable. A lot of people don't want to push themselves and that's where they're fucking up and that's where they're failing and they remain stagnant. Don't remain stagnant, but get ready to be uncomfortable. It's okay. So on week eight, and this is where it takes it, that you're on to a maximum of 20 contracts. Now, a maximum of 20 contracts, you, you're easily making 1500 bucks uh, to potentially $2,000 on a trade. Now, that's more than enough to replace your daily income, guys. And if you don't think it is, you're fucking whacked. So this definitely is going to push your emotional limits if you're trading correctly and properly. When you're having that many contracts to trade with, again, it's market dependent, right? So it's important to remember that and always size according to risk, all right? So that's the sizing protocol. Now, obviously, there's probably there's a lot more little points and pieces to it, but I wanted to give you guys that, and I want to talk a little bit about the methodology behind this sizing protocol. Now, I use a variation of this all the time. Now, if I'm starting to sense that the market is a little unstable, or let's say I catch, uh, I'm not trading very well, now, whether it being I'm getting a little too cowboy on shit, and it happens, right? We're all oversized and I start getting stupid. My discipline is so under control. I will recognize that fucking immediately. I'll strip myself back down into this, this sizing protocol and I'll use a variation of it. Obviously, I'm not going to go down to, uh, you know, zero contracts or one contract. Remember, I'm trading hundreds of contracts per position. I trade with size. Uh, I've been doing this for a decade. I've been doing this a long time. So I've earned the privilege to use this type of sizing. But I will use a variation of this. And it's important that you understand that you can always you can always go back to this. And I recommend using the sizing protocol for the rest of your careers. This is so important, guys. And this is where a lot of people fuck up. They'll hit red days and they won't size down. They won't size down. They'll keep marching ahead and they're going to do damage to their accounts. Stop doing that. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is stop, catch that you're doing something stupid and you're out of control and then revert back. Remember, starting with zero contracts on week one, it's only eight weeks of your life, guys, and it'll get you back on track. So with all of that said, I hope you guys enjoy this. We'll catch you on the next one. Ciao. Adios.